Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Okay guys, just to let you know, I've recorded this video more than 4 months ago and I couldn't post it for multiple reasons, so I'm posting it now. And today I'm going to unbox this Shylock ring light, which is a combo of ring light and a light stand. And I got it uh, at 1099 rupees, so 1100 rupees from Amazon. So let's unbox it. It was by the way on discount, normally it sells around like 1300 rupees and I'm outdoors so there will be a lot of not lot of but some noise and stuff as you can see box is a little bit damaged all right so this is light stand as you can see here okay let's put it in background this should be the light nothing else okay so as you can see it is di distinctly mentioned that it's a fill light fill light is not the secondary light and other specifications normal but again it was mentioned on best website that it's 18 inch uh, ring light but it's 10 inch as you can see you get this thing to uh, for a smartphone for angles and stuff so there you go and this is for this is mount basically for this light so as you can see it takes power from usb so I think you can connect it to your smartphone charger's adapter or something. And now I'm going to figure it out that how to fit these things. Okay, light is going down. Let's quickly go through this. If you get this stand in the condition that I did, so basically one of one of the parts are completely inside. You have to do this, invert it to get it outside, and you get different parts. Here's uh, another part of it, another pipe, this rubber thing which I still haven't figured out what to do with. So let's put it down and this thing, so this is knob basically, as you can see one knob is here and there's screw sticking out. So you have all you have to do is fit it in this screw, there you go, it's done. So now, now you can see this is not going down. When you loosen it, it will go down easily. And then you tighten it. It will not go down as easily. Basically, it will not go down at all. So let's get it down to here so I can show you how to fit this part. As you can see, there's a little bit of gap here. Uh, between uh, pipe surface and this fitting so basically you have to get this pipe in this gap you have to use a little bit of force okay so it's done as you can see now when you will tighten it up you tighten everything now it's not going down and when you will loosen it up it will go down like this there you go it's all done and I still couldn't figure out what this rubber thing is for I think it's some kind of cap for something but okay so it's for the legs basically as you can see the legs have caps one two and this one doesn't have caps so it basically came out of this one so there you go it's a bit loose you know it's a cheap product here it is this is your light stand you have to put this in in this hole so after putting it in this hole you have to screw it in there you go this is your light now this smartphone holder which came in box like this so you have to take this cap out then put it from the back side of this bendy thing and then put this round thing here in this hole just force it in and then tighten this cap up so now you have to slide this part in this ring light as you can see it has a hole here cut out a space by the way i've noticed that it will not go in from both sides so try it from this side first any side so one side will not go in so change the side as you can see okay it went in from this side and let's do this okay so it's all fit and you have to pull this down to fit your smartphone in you can change the orientation just loosen this back cap and change the orientation 
There you go. Let me put my phone in. I'm recording on this phone, so I'm afraid the connection may break off. Go now. Tighten this thing up. There you go. And now in the landscape mode. There you go. Okay guys, so I couldn't record the video outro for this video. So if you like the video, please press like button. If you didn't like it, you can also press dislike button. Just know it will make me sad. And also subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos. And press the bell icon of course. So you can get notifications for upcoming videos. I hope we'll meet in the next video. Till then, best of luck.